the hell end of this thing. Repeat this workout two times per week, 48 hours rest in between each one so the muscles have time to repair, to recover, to grow. Leave a comment, let me know where you're from. I'm very interested. Smash that like button, let's get the hell into this thing. As you can see, we're starting this thing off with dips. Now, if you want, go ahead and use some plates, hang them between your nuts. I really don't care if you can manage the weight. If you can't manage the weight and you're swinging around, you can barely get to 90 degrees with those elbows, do not put some weights in between your nuts. I personally don't even do it because I like to focus on the form and I like to get a higher volume of repetitions. Now, while we're performing these dips, you'll notice a few cues. Number one, look at that eccentric. The way most people do it, they just drop to the bottom, pop right up. Let me tell you, you're gonna blow your shoulders out if you keep doing it that way. But not just that, you can way further increase the intensity of the exercise for the triceps by slowing down the eccentric portion because this is what tears open those triceps. Focusing on keeping a nice, high, and straight torso. Head is neutral, facing forward. My head is not facing downwards, it is not facing upwards. Don't strain your neck. And also, I've got the legs behind me, so to force more gravity on the back end of the motion, that'll help you to target more of the triceps and less of the chest as well. Be sure to only go till about 90 degrees. When you start to go lower than that, that's when your shoulders begin to internally rotate and the tension on the triceps begins to dissipate. So, 90 degrees, you might want to use a mirror beside you or have someone spotting you. Fantastic exercise. Let's get in on the next one. Now after we've completed the dips, which is pretty much the squat for the upper body and it'll hit like all three heads of the triceps, we're gonna be getting into an exercise that is going to now focus on the biggest, meatiest, and longest, pun intended, head of the triceps, long head of the triceps. Now the reason we're able to hit it is because this muscle runs straight through your shoulder joint. So when you elevate your arms like that and put them completely straight up in the air, you stretch the muscle. The muscle that is the most stretched is gonna be the one that's targeted. I'm pretty sure I learned that from Jeff Cavalier, so shouts out to Athlean X. Now notice again, eccentrics, baby. I really do not neglect this. Once I've applied, focusing on using a lot of time under tension by focusing on the eccentric portion, slowing it down, muscular growth was straight through the roof. Notice also I'm bringing those hands down nice and low. I'm trying to get as much of a stretch as possible because again, the muscle that is the most stretched is gonna be the one that's the most targeted. Not only that, those elbows are nice and tight to the head. I'm not letting them flare out so that I can begin to sort of press this and activate the shoulders. This is what will allow you to hit those triceps. Please go light. And when you're at the top of the motion, ensure you lock out. And I'm even adding a little bit of an extra focus on squeezing those triceps as hard as I can. I hold it for about a half of a second the muscle is still engaged at that point because I've slightly stepped out from the machine focus on squeezing those triceps mind muscle connection let's get into the third and final exercise to conclude this thing we're gonna be getting some cable tricep kickbacks and I'm gonna be honest first I was just gonna do dumbbell kickbacks I was looking it up a little bit trying to see if there was any cool variations we could do and thanks to T Nation I actually found out that you're able to get way more time under tension when you utilize a cable you see, when you begin the motion with just a dumbbell, that's not really gonna engage the triceps too much. You're gonna get most of the engagement at the peak of the contraction. However, when you utilize a cable, the tension is there at all times. So that's why it's many times more effective to use a cable while performing this exercise. So you'll notice a couple of things. Number one, back is nice and straight. Time under tension also, slow and controlled. And my arm is just about parallel to the ground. When you've gotten into full extension, you've brought the cable back, you want to squeeze that tricep as hard as possible. You'll notice I also add in about a half of a second of an isometric hold at the peak of those contractions just so I can focus on squeezing that muscle as hard as I possibly can to further the emphasis of mind-muscle connection. Now because of this grip right here, neutral grip or hammer grip, we're actually going to be able to hit the outer or lateral head of our triceps. We've really focused on hitting um, the inner or the long head of the triceps when we were doing the exercise before and obviously the dip is going to hit all three heads. Please be conscious that you use a very, very light amount of weight when you're performing the this exercise it really does not require that much focus on recruiting the muscles as hard as you possibly can ensuring that that form is perfect man my arms hurt right now while I'm talking to you guys to explain this because of how effective not just this exercise was but every single exercise in the damn routine so there you guys go that concludes this entire three exercise routine to grow some bigger and stronger triceps. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to let me know where you guys are from down in the comment section. From Argentina? Are you from Texas? Are you from Louisiana? Saskatchewan? I really want to know. Other than that guys, be sure to smash that like button and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me you guys. I'll see you all in the next video.